Alafu kuna post ambayo utaiona gonga like katika post at share comment na kama post imekupendeza pia share post. Sasa hivi Kalondo, are you ready for the work? Are you ready for the gossips? Yes. Tunaanza yeah. Uganda yeah. na Cindy Sanyu. Cindy Sanyu. Unajua Cinderella Sanyu ni ni legend. Sanyu. Una una unajua unajua yeah, I know, I know that. I know that. <laughs> yes. Know that. First of all, unajua no. over the weekend this Sunday alikuwa perform but haku perform. So watu wame come up kumwambia ni aje tulilipa tukuje tuku watch ukiperform nini what happened? So ime bidia ende on social media I apologize to fans na aseme unajua nini ni ma promoter ndio wako meet their end of the deal. So <coughs> apparently the rumor has it that uh yeye na ma promoter walikuwa me agree vizuri na before in the stage alikuwa alipwe the entire pesa yake yote. Mm. But venye alikuja anataka kwenda stage amekuja mapema everything hapewi do yake. So that's why akwenda stage. So Well Unajua of course haizi haizi sema ni how much si unajua venye artist ukua haizi sema exactly ni how much wenye wanalipwa but of course tukisha agree ni aje ni 30 bob sawa unanipea 10 bob leo kesho unanipea 20 bob si ndio so kesho nikikuja unakata kunipea 20 bob yangu it's something else na hii kitu tumeona so yani kwa ma artist and especially Uganda Ex yes and ndoka lasio na kumbuka ukitwambia sijui ile ule jamaa wa Kongo akija sijui akakosa sijui yes. yani nianza kutoka kule siku nikisema ma promoter fake unakumbuka nikisema ndio yes. hiyo ma promoter na pia unajua pia huku huku Kenya Tanzanian artist wamekuwa wakikuja hawa hawalipi usiseme Tanzanian artist ameoneza amekuwa akikuja na hataki kuperform si pia boss Okay, si ati hataki kuperform. Lakini ya mweza mezidi. Listen, kama ame kuja Kenya. Kwa rumba, masikia mapromoter. But kama ame kuja Kenya na promoter, ame kata kumpia do yake, what do you want him to do? What change contract strategy? What change contract strategy? Nilipe pesa yote na nikuja event. Tieska. Oh na green is on the same. Eh ama aje. Ni pepe sote ni nguvu. Ni pepe pepe sote ukiwa kwenu, si ndio? Ndio ukikuja una perform. Okay, nikikupea pesa yote ukiwa ukiwa kuko kwenu nitajua. Kuna sheria, unajua before nikukupa pesa kwa mpiga contract, si ndio? So ukishapiga ile kandarasi umepiga sahihi yako wako, utakuwa na na consequences ambazo zitokee in case uko sikuja na vitu ambavyo vitafanyika na kama umeshapiga sign, sheria itachukuliwa. So mtu anaweza kukataa na pia najua watu wanapenda mashabiki wao. Yeah. Siwezi nikakuita sehemu mashabiki wako na kusarajia alafu wasi kuja na nimekulipa. Kweli urongo? But listen, most most promoters me kama promoter nitakulipa no. half ukuje nikikuwa na umefika in the country nikulipe hiyo half nyingine which is a good thing. Si ndio? Hapana nipe yote tumalizane ni nini? Lakini unajua wanauliza hivi hata mwelekezo kipindi anauliza kwamba watu sometimes eh wanaitisha pesa sio lakini hata hawaja sign contract inakuwaje hapo unaichukuliaje wanaitisha pesa wa design contract kwa maana ile word of mouth yani mimi nataka pesa fulani na fulani fresh utanipa 70% 30% tubaki nayo nikija kwenye event alafu mm -hmm. mwisho siku mnagia ukali si kama kama ni professionalism kama mimi ni artist niko serious nitakuwa na, na professionalism tuko tumeandikiana yani kila kitu tu ikweni kama ni kupeleka na koti leo niko na evidence niko na evidence no, ya na hapo ndo management inakujia unapata yeah. management unajua iko na maloya nini mm -hmm. kama vile so inakuwa rahisi yeah. ukiwa msanii peke yako unajua wasanii wengi siko rumba ama nini mm. ili wengi wao unapata mtu maybe ameachia shule same fulani hajafika ni same zile za juu kuelewa lugha fulani ambazo zinatoka kwenye vizungu pale ni vigumu vinatuchanganya ushaelewa mm. so umepata mm -hmm. pale umeandikiwa sijui nini hizo matamination pale kwa termination kuna kuanga na matamination ngumu sana si unaweza andika contract ya Kiswahili honestly hata ni Kiswahili unaweza kutumia mimi samia ya Kiswahili pale Ukaanza kuambia pale uwanja nini nitaelewa. Sio wewe. Wewe utaelewa. Mimi nitaelewa kwa lakini naelewa mimi kama naelewa kizungu sana. Lakini mtu aweza kaendea kitu ambacho kielewa. Watu wengi wanajua kizungu na kizungu ndio rais. Hata Google pale tuseme sasa hivi kiingia. Ikifunguka Google na kizungu na Kiswahili unachanganyika kweli urongo. Ni kwa sababu siko used kwa Kiswahili sana. Lakini wako used, si ndio? Niko used kwa sikatai lakini kuna vitu pia vinanichanganya. Sijui dictionary, sijui kamusi nzima mimi. Lakini poa top to top sababu ya Kiswahili hapo tuingie Tanzania. Ali K for real Ali Kibo. Unakuwa unafahamu Ali Kibo sasa hivi ameweza kuzindua ama ameweza kulaunch msikiti ambao amejenga kule Tabata kwa Tanzania. Ni step ambayo amechukua ni step nzuri sana, ni step ilikuwa ya usiri sana. Kwa mtu ambaye anijua kwamba Ali Kibo anafungua mosque kwa. Ameshafunguliwa iko wazi. Lakini ni kitu ambacho pia ukumbuke Diamond Platinumz wakati alielekea Nijoni unaitaje kule kwao kule Kigoma. Kigoma kule. Alipoelekea kule pia aliahidi kwamba atafungua msikiti. Na alifungua? Hajafungua bali ndio sasa amesema ndio anataka ajenge nini mijengo vitu kama vile. Mm -hmm. So lakini sasa ni kiba kama ame overtake ashaifungua. Yaani si inakuwaaje hapo unachukuliaje? Mimi na feel kama haikuwa ni kama amefungua. Ah bado alikuwa amesema atafungua msikiti. Alikuwa amesema atafungua. But si si mambo si ku compete. Kama ni kitu tunafanya a noble thing tunafanya kwa sababu tunataka kufanya hiyo kitu isaidie wase ni place watu wanakuja kuomba si ndio atufanyi ku compete honestly uh, ken sisi tukamwa sisi tunaanza kujenga churches 
Tunafanya kukompiti. Apana. Lakini nejua mini, nejua kwenye, kwenye showbiz na kwenye entertainment industry na chukulio kitu fauti. Yes. Wakati wewe ni kama unanikana kama mshindani wangu, ni kifanya mm. kitu, ni kama unanikana kama unanikompiti. Yes. Waile tukiangalia katika macho ya, ya umbea na katika yeah. macho pia entertainment. Ya. Yeah. Lakini kwa macho kwa waido, uwe kifanya kitu, kifanya kitu. Mwone poa. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Na naelewa kwa sababu kwa ukienda kufungua ama kulonj, watu wanaita reporters. Kwa sababu hiyo inakujenga pia unaona enyewe unafanya kitu in the Lakini community. Lakini mimi sielewi naweza kuna ile story ya Manwater. Unakumbuka kuna story juzi ya Manwater alikuwa anasema kwamba Alikiba mm. ameshindwa kulipia ngoma zingine. Yes. Sasa ni kama Alikiba pia amejaribu ku na kuonyesha wazi kwamba ndajengaje msikiti ambao ni, ni msikiti ambao unakaa vizuri sana. Mm. Ya, imejengwa na bei gani? Nishindwe kulipa maodi ya shilingi milioni moja. Inaingia kilini. Maybe unajua kuna venye tunaweza kwa sana mimi na wewe yeah. Kendrell Bis hata niseme hizo ngoma by the way nazo. I have the money but kana hizo ngoma zako anyway. Kini kuna time Manuel alikuwa kwenye interview alikuwa anasema mm -hmm. kwamba kuna time alikuwa alikuwa mamba yuko sawa. Hizo milioni Honestly sasa hizi mimi Ken mm. nikaanza kukwambia unajua nini mimi siko sawa sina do. Mm. So utaenda utakuja wa mashariki waanza kusema nimesema niko broke. Ah mimi si si tabia yangu. Ni msikiti wenyewe unaona eh. Una msikiti hapo nini? Eh inakapoa. Ani jamaa, si, si ndogo hii, nkubwa. Alafu ndani mi, maripota wangu alikuwa nantumemba kama picha zile za ndani. Ingia pali kwenye Instagram ya Kendrell Bisa Updates. Kwa ni picha nzu, ya ni, ni mipige mafoto gridi, ya ni ndani nje. Inavuka, inavupendeza, ni mshenelea. Au vipi. Top to top. Inakapu zuri sana, inakapu wa sana. Aungera sana likiba kwa mm -hmm. kusupport vitu mwenyezi mungu, kwa kusupport imani yako na watu ambao wanamini imani ambao na yamini. Au yeah. vipi. Yeah. Abisa, top to top. Sorry, gani ingini? Back to Kenya and Nam. to Tanzania. Nam. Isn't sorry, these are the two countries. Nam. So, susumila na mbosa. Siwa metoyo ngoma ya sonona. Sonona, sonona. Eh, yungu wani poa sana. Naipenda sana. Inapenda tupali pa mbosa na posema vipi. Eh. Ati, leo, unataka wakutane. Lakini, anamombia demu wake kwa mba tamlipia. Eh, boda boda, mm -hmm. asipamani na mwendo kasi. Yani, asipamani na matatu. Oh, mwendo kasi ni matatu? Matatu, zile wow. matatu. Ano mbosu pamani kwa matatu, usijibani, bani, usi... Ah! Romantic, Mr. Romantic, <laughs> mboso kani. Kwa watu nilambi, eh. So, ametoa ngome ni tosonona, inafanya Nam. so Posa. well kwa Nam. sababu watu, watu wa may like. First of all, ilikuwa kwa YouTube channel, zote mbili, ya mboso na ya Susumila. Ah, but then, yes. Nam. But then Susumila katoa yake, ikabaki kwa mboso. We didn't know why, no. but maybe in the mboso wako na subscribers wengi ama ni ile agreement, ndio? Ni subscribers wengi ba wana dhani. Sababu ugule na juwe mboso kama ako kama ilifu miya saba. So ita msel sana, ita msel sana susumila Tanzania. Yeah. So exclusively, susumila alisema kwamba, ali, yani 001 mweshimi wa joho, ali poa 1.3 million kutengeneza hii video. So, mseme joho ndiyo ali sponsor. Yes, unajua wako inetuwa je above the rim entertainment ambayo, susumila ni kama anachio fulani katikia above the rim entertainment, lakini yu above the rim entertainment na milikia unajua. Sasa susumila anachio pali. However, unajua Ken, however susumila anasema, ukisema hivu pia susumila anasema, joho ana record label. Lakini wasema mbasa wanasema hivu. Inanza na 001 Music Presents. But then anakata, anasema no, hana record label. Maybe anafund. Kwa sababu unachikile ngoma yake na lava lava, joho pia ya likuwa mefund. Na susumila ni mse anakubali enyewe. Muheshimi wa joho anafund projects zake na anafund other people's projects, especially watu wanatoka Mombasa kwa sababu, anajaribu kuwa jenga, anajaribu kuwa support when it comes to music. Lakini ukiangalia bado wakisema watu wa Mombasa wanasupportia, kuna wasani wa Mombasa mboa mejitokezo na wakazungumza vibaa sana. Sisi hizi sema ni vibaa zaidi lakini wakazungumza kwa njetofa. Ukiangalia mtu kama kelecha ni jitokezo katika interview fulani, yakasema kwa mba Mombasa inatani wana cartels, na uniweze kusupportia, lazima uguna juona na hizo cartel. Mishanelewa. Na pia wakati 31st kulikuwa na atamasha kubali na fanyika Mombasa, wasani Sani urafiki yako sana wewe. Bancho, e, Bancho boy alikuwa ameka post ndefu ambayo alikuwa pia na video ilikuwa inasambaa sana ikisema kwamba kuna wasanii wanakosa kupewa nafasi na wana ngoma nzuri. Yeah. Lakini kuna wasanii ambao watalipo kutoka Tanzania au kuje pale ama kuna wasanii ambao ni wa kawaida sana ambao ni kwa hapo yeah. ku perform. So yeah. na, nadhani bado as much as wanasema kama wana support usani wa Mombasa mm. utapata ni wasanii ambao wanatajika. Yeah. Utapata maybe ni mtu kama Dazla Kiduche, utapata kama mtu kama Kelechi ile Ringi ka support wao, unapata ni wasanii wachache ambao tawesabu. Mm -hmm. Tuka rank, tukasema wasanii wa Nairobi na tukamtaja tu Willy Polly but na Nairobi na wasanii zaidi ya 1100 sio. Yeah. Na Mombasa vile vile. Yeah. 
So nasi kwamba as much as wanasema kwamba ina support lakini inaonekana pia ina support watu wengi zaidi. Yeah. Yes, unachukulia. Hata hata mimi na feel Mombasa na. kuna a lot of talent. Wakali sana. Kuna talent mob sana. Na. Na yeah. yeah. kina City Boy, kina Chapatizo mtoka mcheza hapa. Yeah. Na. But then unacheki wenye wase walikama hapo wakasema waka waka point out hizo issue. Inamaanisha pia wenye wanafanya hizi events wali note hizo issues na maybe next time waki wakifanya concert watakuwa na observe hizi vitu so next time wakifanya concert and then warudie the same makosa tunajua obviously hii yeah. ni kama lakini watu wamekuwa watu wamesamehe tuseme yeah. maybe wamelearn lakini watu wamedis susumile mbona anaamua kulipa wasanii wa kampuni moja wa wili ndio maana aweze kusell muziki wake kuwalipa amesema inasemekana lipa lava lava na pia Si, tukifanya kolabo na wewe tuna agree it's an agreement lakini mbona afanye imekuwa ni lazima alipe watu walikuwa si mimi nasema hivyo lakini watu walikuwa wanauliza mm -hmm. kwa imekuwa ni lazima afanye na wasanii tu kutoka wasafi lakini sio wasanii kutoka kampuni zingine nyingi Si anaweza fanya anaweza fanya with anybody si yeah. si however amefanya tu na lava lava na ni tayari ni nusu ya WCB amefanya na amefanya na lava lava na mboso si ndio so um uh, kuna interview tulifanya akasema pia atakuwa um, atafanya na na Fali Pupa Naam. na pia atafanya na Nandi atafanya na, na Red Sun so yani ni kama ako na more projects zenye zina come that he is going to do but so pia ni poa pia angalia pia ma upcoming pia wasukume wa si ndio eh apiga na watu walikuwa wanataka kupiga na chukuzea asipiga chukuzea amepiga sana pia na wasanii wengine Mombasa wazuri wanapiga kazi sio yeah. top to top story nyingine ambayo imetrend mm -hmm. ingia ama utaingia inahusu kina TS ka hiyo it's story gani inahusu kina TS ka DJ Elvolve yes Elvolve ama Elvo Elvolve sio Eh niliona TSK ni moja ma DJ ambao Kenya mm -hmm. walikuwa mstari wa mbele sana kwa kuzungumzia story kupitia status za WhatsApp nilikuwa naweza TSK. Unaona yeah. mipost mpaka Facebook, Instagram wapi. Na ni kitu ambacho si ndio DJ pekee yake katika mainstream ambao amepost lakini ma DJ wengi wengine ambao ni ma celebrity kama TSK yeah. pia wameweza kuzipost. Ushaelewa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> TSK na cheka kwa nini? Niliona kuna kuniga sana. Hamna so na watu wame, watu wamechukulia kinjia tofauti mpaka nimeona kuna posta ambazo zimekuwa zikisambaa katika mtandao wa kijamii zinaonyesha kwamba MDJ watakuwa na kama mkutano wa kuzungumzia hilo swala mm -hmm. sio kesho pale pale mtakuwa mtakuwa wapi tunacheza parliament mtacheza parliament mtakuwa mm. MDJ wote kwa nimesikia yeah. swala ambalo watu wajaichukulia hapo na sio unaizungumzia vipi unajua ni swala ambalo ni very critical na mimi na mtu sitaki kuzungumzia nikakotiwa vibaya yeah. first of all i'm happy that madjs wana come together wana wana support yani kuna ile unity as much as una, una chiki, as much as tuko sad that hii na happen ya dj flani tuna dj moja dj evolve i mean Yaani na feel tu kuna a lot of with a very positive energy and po positive unity yenye ime come through uh, kwa ma DJ which is a great thing. Naam. But pia kusu kusu unasema ni comment kusu the whole thing. Naam, naam. Well it's not a good thing Kenya alifanywa tunajua ameenda ame DJ Evolve ame undergo surgery na tuna hope yani atakuwa tu na quick recovery. Tunaweza tu kia na fuya haraka lakini pia at least pia kama inavyosefenkana kwamba babu pia alichukua ule wito wa kuhakikisha kwamba mpeleka nyama hospitali ni vitu kama vile. Mm. Pia ni step nzuri at least akumwache tu jamaa ndio hivyo hivyo sio. So tunaichukulia tunasema pole sana kwa familia. Niweza kuzungumza ku text ndugu yake. Mm. Bado sijaenda sija, sija kuongea naye moja lakini nilikuwa nimeongea naye kwenye Instagram na kaniambia ndugu yake na kaniambia anaendelea at least vizuri na kaniambia kwamba alikuwa leo alikuwa alikuwa anaambia anafanya kama surgery ya nyingine ilikuwa inafaa fanyiwe leo. So mm -hmm. ufuatilie hata sijazungumza tangu mkuje mpaka hapa. Yeah. Lakini nitakuwa naifuatilia kiundani sana kikubwa tu ingia pale Kendral Bisa app yetu tutakuwa naipata na Kendral Bisa yetu tutakuwa naipata na Kendral Bisa yetu tutakuwa naipata na Kendral Bisa yetu tutakuwa naipata na Kendral Bahati. Eh. Mbona unasema hey? Mbona unashtuka? Mama ule. Yes. Ah, sitaki niongee vibati na simo we. Unajua bahati anapenda kusema mimi naongea vibaya kumuhusu. Ashai kwambia unaongea vibaya kumuhusu. Eh, alisema wazi kwenye 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 interview. Kiingia YouTube angalia interview nimemfanyia bahati utasikia mwenye akisema kwamba mimi ni mmoja wa watu ambao simongelee vizuri kwenye TV. So but <laughs> mimi sikiza tu vizuri kabisa. Najua anatazama show sababu alijua lazima alijua lazima tutaongelee story najua lazima anatazama. So but you know you watch right now usichukulie personal na nini vitu kama hivyo. Ni story tunaizungumza na unatineka sawa au vipi? Yeah. yeah. Najua uliongea nao leo. Yes. Nam. So bahati um, ni, ni story ya bahati Nam. na Peter Blessing na producer, producer Paulo. Paulo. Nam. Producer Paulo ni producer alikuwa na producer bahati. Nam. Peter Blessing ni artist mwenye alikuwa amesainiwa na bahati kwa EMB Naam. and then sasa si tuko na bahati Kevin so yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so uh, peter blessing na uh, 
producer Paulo alikuwa arrested the before the weekend so producer Paulo alitolewa before yeah. before weekend ishe yeah. but um aitwa nani Peter Blessing, blessing alitolewa jana yeah. so with producer Paulo uh, niliongea na yeye yeah. first of all akasema that the reason why alikuwa arrested is that alikuwa ameambiwa ameiba vitu za studio za yeah. EMB yeah. and then later akanipigia akaniambia he needs to apologize for accusing Bahati. Ni vitu zile nichanganya kwa sababu first of all alikuwa ni hiyo story ilikuwa shape mko mshape andisha. Yes. Ama alio ama alipigiwa simu na Bahati akamwambia wewe ni vitu gani hivi. Sasa hapo sasa hapo unajua sasa tunaongea on phone so sijui. Sababu ni the same thing ambayo kidogo ni kati tu kidogo. The same thing ambayo Tile Brown pia ameifanya. Tile Brown akiwa katika interview fulani ya Block 89 alizungumza akisema kwamba kitu fulani kuhusu kina Verasidika. Na baadaye alipoikia katika station nyingine tofauti Tile Brown alikuja akapologize akasema kwamba anaomba msamaha na anasema pole sana kwa vitu ambavyo nilivisema kuhusiana na Verasidika. Mm. Na yes. ama nini mbona mtu anaongea vitu and then later maybe una, kuna yeah. regrets hata ni kuna vitu naweza hapa and then later ni regret ni have ku apologize Naam. so uh, and then producer Paul aka apologize akasema niaje i'm really sorry na naomba bahati ani anisamehe for accusing him hiyo ikaisha hivyo si ndio all right so utaenda kwa Peter blessing Naam. Peter blessing bado ako na ile grad ako na uchungu wabisa machungu na kwa sababu amekuwa in the cell for three days na alisema kwamba uh, Kenya aliandikiwa kwa kwa polisi is that he obtained 2 million the reason is because alikuwa amesema alifika mali akasema unajua nini nataka kutoka EMB so nikawa bahati aliona we hapa hapana hapa unajua Mr. Sida alienda hivyo David Wanda alienda hivyo tena huyo aende hivyo and then sasa anafikiria do yenye ali make ali ali aliyeka ku 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 make na kuwekeza hapo na kutengeneza wa star nini na kwa unajua yeah. so akamwambia it's 2 million men so uh, after all jana on sunday si ndio ndio akatolewa so it was like anasema there is a lot that went on na uh, ukizungumza na yeye pita blessing alisema kwamba alikuwa amesign contract kama miaka ngapi uko ya kaya <laughs> are you ready na i'm ready alisema alisainishwa contract ya 20 good years au oh, yani mpaka jamaa afikishe 40 years wewe unaweza unaweza sign contract ya 20 <laughs> hey, years, years ni nyingi all. sana ngoza tieska hey. unaweza sign contract ya 20 years 20 years ni nyingi sana First of all na, na feel too yani na feel na feel sad for for him kwa sababu sasa hizi ako kwa scandal unajua Peter Blessing and then na, pia alikuwa 20 years ni kama ame breach contract kwa sababu haizijaisha but 20 years kusainisha mtu 20 years is na, a long long time na pia alikuwa anasema there are a lot of things that zilikuwa zinaenda katikati ya EMB zenye hakuwa anapenda na pia uh, association yake na bahati na wisdom ilikuwa poa but anasema sasa ingine unajua kama ni business lazima mkosane yeah. na this is the time tuseme wenye wamekosana yeah na pia unajua bahati of course alienda social media akasema you know what i am trending i am always trending na unajua ukipigia bahati anakuambia nga tu Misi, bahati na jomo mbaki hata ukimpigia of course hatakangi kusema kusema his side of, na, of his story na. but ako na reality show atenda kusemea uko so tutajua tungoje tu reality show yes alisema na alisema always, always I, love i love my life my life yes from creative mode and then unajua from creative well <laughs> <laughs> unajua ako na reality show so atenda kusemea uko so pia tutajua yeah. but then uh, ukiangalia there is a problem kuna watu wengi wametoka EMB tukianza na Wisdom alitoka akarudi. Karudi. Kuna Mr. Seed, David kuna Wanda. David Wanda, Rebecca kuna Soki. Rebecca Soki and then Peter. Kuna Princess Leo, so sijui alitoka, alienda huyo boss sasa alienda. Sasa sijui there is something that is going on that Bahati just needs to fix it. Ndio at least watu wenye ana sign wakae and then waelewane na wasi. Kabisa. Yeah, kabisa. Bahati unajua wanasema mmoja akianza tutasema maybe ni tatizo lake lakini ikiwa ni wengi tasema kuna tatizo kwako so but whatever it's going on mzee bro yeah. sisi ni watu ambao tunakusupport na tunakisha kwamba tunasupport watu wote ambao wanawasaini katika label ya EMB so but do something mzee yani watu sikuwa nalia sana kwenye 